so I can continue to pay him, I'm going to phone me on the electric and all the little, all the little shit. Yes. Come on. Come on. What's up, y'all? <laughs> we back. <laughs> We about to get started again. You feel me? My boy got home. Wait on him to jump in here right quick. I just want to. Hey, yo, drop your HBC. You know I'm doing good. I'm always doing good. Always doing good. You know, drop your HBC. Y'all know the drill. We got to do the little roll call. Got to do the roll call. Ooh, let me unpin that. Do that again. I don't like that. I didn't like how that was looking. <sighs> what's up? Y'all drop y'all HBC. You don't try to know what's up with y'all. Where y'all from? Let me see. Make sure this right. Make sure this right for my boy. There we go. There we go. We straight. We straight. What's good, y'all? Do we have any Greeks in the house? Do we have any Greeks in the house? We about to get this started. Want to shout out the Greeks first and foremost. And all the HBCU students. Okay, PV. What's up, PV? Yes, sir. What's good, everybody? There we go. We about to get started. We are about to get started. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo. Yo. You good. I'm weak. You see the comments? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, but I'm about to introduce the one and only. Run it up, Taj. You already know what's going on. Run it up. Run it up. What's good, oh. everybody? You have anything that you want to say to the people right quick before we get started? Just want to say, if y'all rocking with me, I support. I mean, I love all y'all. Uh, so, um, thankful for y'all rocking with me. I know a couple of y'all probably made a dance to the song already. Much appreciated. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Everybody get started. First and foremost, where you from, bro? Chesapeake, Virginia, 757. Uh, oh, I got a whole lot of friends in Chesapeake. You went to school with my boy Micah Langhorn, light skinned dude. You know, yeah, you. I think I know you're talking about. Wait, what school? Uh, He went to your high school. Indian River or Deep Creek? I went to two. I think it was Indian River. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But no doubt, though, no doubt, though. So tell me what it was like growing up in Chesapeake, man. Oh, Chesapeake, you know, it was like, all right, so with me, so my mom, like, my mom bought me stuff, but it was the bare minimum. So right. me, being me, I wanted more for myself. So that caused me to do things that I wouldn't say I'm uh, proud Probably. about. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, I mean, high school, it was high school. I got in trouble with hand there. But I got in one situation which caused me to, like, get my whole mind, my mindset right. And after I got that situation, uh, it was it was good since then. You right. know, I went to another school, played football, basketball, uh, got a seven in Virginia State. I'm a president at an organization there. I just joined Alpha. So yeah, it's been pretty good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Because I know. Thank you, thank you. Man, man, you've been through it, though. I mean, you, you, you kept it hot. You kept it hot. You've been through it and everything like that. So what uh, made you... Virginia though, like Virginia State. <laughs> um, Virginia State is like hour thirty from me. Uh, Norfolk State closer. Norfolk State like twenty five minutes from me. I ain't want to be close to home. I wanted to really get away from everything and everybody, and just like it's kind of a fresh start. And then Virginia State, that's in my opinion, that's the best HBCU. The love there is crazy, bro. Before Hit Your Groove even came about, they was already supporting me there, like. My songs uh, get played in parties. They they rapping the lyrics like the support there is, is crazy, cause. So when did you get like into music and everything? Um yeah, I made my I got into music my freshman year in college. So 2018, my cousin had passed away, and I made a song dedicated towards him. Uh, it got a positive response, so I'm like, hey, I'm just about to do music. I might just stick with it. Next thing you know, I just you know it went well. So. Let me so you telling me you started two years ago and you already where you at right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Two years ago, but where I'm at right now is nothing. I, I promise you, this is only the beginning. 
Of course, of course. Of course. Huh? There's a lot of folks that started in middle school. <laughs> it's still ain't yeah, even. I know. Um, yeah, even. I know. To be where I'm at, to accomplish what I accomplished, is definitely a blessing, man. All praise be to God. Definitely. So, so I listen to some of your new music, but we're going to go through one of your top songs. This is your top song right now. Hit your groove. Mm -hmm. Explain how that yeah. went. All right. So, one day, um, PJ, you know, you just did an interview with him. Yeah. Uh, he had, he reached out to me. He was like, he got this dance. The dance been out for a little minute already. Um, he said, uh, I got a dance, but I'm looking for a song. So I'm like, all right, bet, bro. But we already had mutual friends, so I already knew him. He knew of me. So he sent me the, he sent me how to do the dance, the basic parts of how to do the dance. So I'm reading it. And, you know, as an artist, you got to take what they give you and then kind of, like, reconstruct it to make it go with whatever you're trying to produce. Right. So, boom, got that. I'm like, all right, bet, bet, bet. Found the beat. It's crazy because I wrote the song in like 20 minutes, no cap. <laughs> like, it was like that. Because, like, as an artist, when you get that beat, you get that bad, you're like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, I mean, found the beat, got it writing. Just throwing like little, little uh, cool stuff like up, down, up, down, come here, give me high five, like crazy stuff like that. You ain't gonna really expect that in the song, but exactly. you know, it happened to go perfect with it. You feel me? Um, Yeah, that's really how that went about. But, like, as far as, like, it blowing up, like, as far as it blowing up, you getting the exposure, people reaching out to you and everything like that, mm -hmm. like, how do you feel, like, coming out where, like, where, like, you came out 2018, and then you dropped that 2020, and you, like, oh, shoot, I'm trending on TikTok. I'm trending yeah. on TikTok. We dropped that uh, 2019, but you can say 2020 because it was, like, <laughs> December 31st. But, like I said, bro, it's, it's surreal, but it's a blessing, like, I know it was really big when one day I was in my dorm room and everybody kept my fault. Somebody called me. Oh, uh, um, everybody kept tagging me. Somebody keep calling me. My fault. Um, all right, my fault. Somebody kept tagging James post, which is LeBron James son. So I'm like, why they keep my fault? I don't know why this person keep calling me, bro. Like they blow my phone up. But um, cause you fake. All right, you can hear me, right? Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> All right, so everybody kept uh, tagging me, and Bronny James keep tagging me in this photo. So I go, look, he hit in this group. I'm like, oh, I'm in my dorm room. Hi, I'm calling people like, yeah, Bronny James is there today. What you talking about? <laughs> and then after that, bro, like probably like five, four new celebrities was doing it every day. Like It was crazy. It was definitely crazy. Oh. But COVID that's, stopped that's, a lot of stuff, but it helped also. So like as far as like have you ever thought about like have you ever thought about performing at um at your school though? Like 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 in like the auditorium yeah, course, and stuff like course. that, like before, oh. before Before his groove or after his groove? Like for his groove, right? Like before COVID. Oh yeah, yeah. It's crazy because a lot of people don't know this. I was supposed to perform at Spring Fling. Oh wow. You know what that is, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our concert Spring Fling. Um I was talking to the head person. And we was we was getting that in the works, but COVID had happened, and then you feel me. But what's meant to be will be. So if yeah. if it's destined for me to do that one day, then I do that. So have you been in contact with any other type of artists, any type of features coming soon? Oh um, yeah, we got we got some features coming soon. I ain't gonna speak too much on. That. I wanted to be hey, a surprise. That's all I wanted to see. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to uh get back on the grind though. Uh, really, I haven't dropped any music for real for real after hit your groove. I wanted to ride that out. Um. So yeah, a lot of a lot of new content about to come soon. So are you gonna are you gonna focus on like songs that make people dance? Or are you gonna start like hopping into like a? Into, yeah. Like, a all right. So the thing is, all right. So like I said, I've been rapping since 2018. So I've been making music, dance, dance music is not really one of the things that I do. But seeing seeing like the generation we are now, like TikTok so big, there probably is something I will start doing more often. Because, like, I see the type of response that it got. And it's positive. It's for the kids, for the family. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you could be expecting something else. Okay. Um, okay. So, who would you say is an artist that, like, that you look up to and, like, you, like, inspire try to be like? Uh, I can say Jay-Z just because, like, the business moves he makes and stuff like that. But, like, carrying yourself wise, I say Kevin Gates. Like I really um I rock with Kevin Gates, Dumb Hard. Like 
his music, I don't even focus on his music like that. I'm more, I go on YouTube and just li listen to his interviews. Cause you listen to his interviews, he really dropped a, no a lot of knowledge. Like I began a lot of knowledge from him. So, I right, past music and everything like that. Explain the organ the organization that that you're a president of. Like how's uh, that? How is all? Uh, my org is called it's called Prep Incorporated. We promote, represent, and entertain our peers. So basically, like we throw campus events. Like we be throwing uh, cookouts. Our cookouts be the best cookouts, bro. I swear. Like it be lit. Um, and we we promote promote uh like events around campus, off campus. We host uh, events. And just entertain our peers, basically. So when the school, when the school not uh, providing an event, that's when we come in and you know keep the students interactive. Right. Like this, this semester coming up, the school we're not gonna really have that many on-campus events. So it's really up to the orgs to you know provide the fun for the students. So yeah, that's tough though. That's tough though. And you've been like an entertainer and everything like that with the whole COVID, everything like that. How are you going to try to like adjust it? To, to still get your stuff out there when, like, you can't really be in person on, like, your campus? Um, you know, social media, social media, bro, social media is big. Like, it's always been big since it came out, honestly. People usually got to learn how to utilize it to the best to the best of your ability. Right. So this campus, uh, yeah, social media. I remember I had dropped, like, I dropped a little project last semester. I was up, like, 3 o'clock in the morning hanging posters up all around uh, campus. <laughs> but I was uh, I, but I, I know the feeling. Though. I know the feeling. Though I was doing that. I was doing that at A&T. So yeah, hey, dog, it was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all can't tell nobody this, but I was drunk doing that. <laughs> Y'all don't tell nobody that. Don't tell nobody that. All right, tripping, bro. Tripping, bro. But nah, but for real though, like going past, like because you know, going to an HBCU, you got a whole lot of exposure. You get a whole lot of love. How do you drown out all the fake love that you're getting, especially since you just crossed and everything like that? So you got even more fake love based upon. Yeah, facts. Fake like, love. I, I've been getting that my whole life. I just learned I learned to separate the real love and the fake love. You know, people come around when they see they can benefit from you. You just got to learn how to keep the fake energy out, you know. So. Mm -hmm. all right. So as far as like everything goes, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it hot. You are really on your way to becoming something super big, like like already though, and it's only been like real soon. So as far as like mm -hmm. when you when you actually get that check, when you actually get that check and everything like that, what's the first thing you gonna do to get back to the community? First thing I'm gonna do to get back to the community, money wise. Um, I don't know. With me, I want to get into like real estate and like so i want to open i want to be able to open companies up and buildings up maybe right. maybe a rec center or something like that you feel me something that the kids can go to to keep them out the streets and keep them focused on their craft stuff like that but basically yeah i just want to open businesses up in the community you know black owned businesses it's not it's a lot but it could be way more you feel me right right as far as like traveling goes and everything like that like, mm -hmm. like, like, where's some of the places you've been and everything like that, and people just recognize you, like, oh, you run it up, run it up. So, yeah, um, really everywhere I go, but not everywhere I go. Like, it'll be a couple people everywhere I go. Like, I haven't traveled a lot because of the COVID, but I just, I just had a show in North Carolina last, like, Friday, and that, that was lit. Um, so yeah, I, I'll be walking around, they'd be like, oh, run it up, run it up, you feel me? Anytime on campus, they say, run it up, run it up. I just laugh, you know. So where'd that come from? Huh? So where'd that come from, run it up? Like, how'd that even come um, about? Bro, all right, so it was on one of my old songs. Uh, I just said it one day, and then my homeboy was like, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying right there, bro. You got to see that every time. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's a dude snap. And then it, oh, just stuck, it just stuck with me. So that's what people be calling me now. It's tough. I mean, it's tough. Like, it's, it's, it's the little things that really jump, though, too. Because, you know, some people be trying to do too much. But yours yeah. is just like, and it's simple. Like, you just come in, like, what's up? Run yeah. it up. Then you know my name, run it up tight. So, run it up, run it up. You feel me? Run it yeah. up. <laughs> All right, my boy, it's tart, my boy. But as far as everything go, I know the ladies be giving you love. You feel me? How you, how you, how you maintain, my boy? Man, I'm a virgin. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. Look, I be chilling though. I be chilling. I'm a, I'm a very cool individual. Um, yeah. I just be chilling, bro. It be vibes. It's the vibes for me. If you got negative energy, 
then I ain't messing with you. But if your energy is good and you want the best for me, because I want the best for everybody. I don't care who you is. Um, this positive energy, that's what, all, that's what I'm all about. Like, I got a love tattoo right here. It's kind of faded, but it say yeah. love. I just, I like to spread love, and I love performance. So when I got a mic in my hand, they see the love right there. Yes, sir. That's what's up, but that's love. I mean, man, that's love. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, how do you feel about everything that's going on in society right now with, like, racial injustice and everything like that? Yeah, it's it's messed up, man, but it's, it's definitely messed up. But it's been going on for so long, like, the question is, when is the change really going to come? You feel me? We, we we do our little protests for X amount of time just for stuff to go right back normal. Like, we got to, I don't know, something got to change. You feel me? So how are you feeling? Like, how, how are you using your, your influence and your platforms and everything like that to promote and really, like, distribute everything that's going on to educate folks? Yeah, yeah. Um, Basically, using my platform, Instagram-wise, like, anytime I see something that's that can give you knowledge that you didn't know before. You know, I shared to my story um, when the protests was like going on. I was out there protesting. Sure. Um, yeah. So how was it in like Virginia though, as far as like racism and everything like that? Because I know Virginia is a big state. With where? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, me personally, I don't really experience racism, but it's sad to say like if I go around a group of older white people like. It's sad to say, but I feel uncomfortable exactly. just because I know, like, I know. Like, one all right, one day I was running. This was, like, last week. I was jogging in my neighborhood. It's not. Listen, I don't have a problem with white people. <laughs> I don't have a problem. I just want to put that out right now. Right. But, all right, so I was jogging, and it was a white couple on this side, on both sides of the street, and I had to run in between them. Like, I felt, like, so uncomfortable. <laughs> it felt I feel, so I feel so bad, bro. Huh? I feel you. I, I feel exactly how you're saying, bro. I've, I've been in the same yeah. situation. Been in the same situation. Yeah. And the fact, the fact that we feel like that, that's a, that just says that we like problem. it ain't right out here. You feel me? The problem. But you have any advice for any upcoming artists and everything like that? Yeah. Um, advice. Don't listen to opinions. Every person in the world is gonna have an opinion. You gotta understand it. That's not something you can stop. You just gotta um believe in yourself if that's something you want to do then you do that with 110 percent you feel me don't don't never give up if music is really what you want to do not even music you know basketball football you want to do that you got to work hard for it don't listen to opinions and just you know try your best yes sir you have any final words for the folks for the people uh i appreciate y'all for tuning into this interview if you don't follow me already i would love if you go follow me uh sure. it's only the beginning like i said I appreciate y'all for having me too. Hey, no doubt. I'm going to tap in. We got to get you at a &T. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely trying to come there. For sure, bro. Hey, just DM me. I'm going to follow you and everything, bro. Much love, bro. Thank you for Much joining. Much love, bro. Appreciate it. All right. Be safe. All right. You too.